Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2016 Science Paper 1, Section B, Question 8. Question 8 reads, Figure 8.1 shows a transformer which has a primary coil of 500 turns and a secondary coil of 25 turns. Okay, so in a transformer, uh, the coil that takes in, the coil that takes in current from the main is called the primary. And the coil that gives out current to any device to be used is called the secondary. Okay? Uh -huh. And what joins them is uh, soft ion, and it is called the soft ion core. And the basic principle behind the transformer is mutual induction okay mutual induction all right uh let's let's proceed so the primary coil is connected to a 240 volt uh ac current ac a transformer will only work on ac and that is the symbol for alternating current and what comes out is also alternating current, hence mutual. What goes in should come out, okay? So if you take in alternating current, what comes out is alternating current. All right. Uh, question A, calculate the secondary voltage of the primary, if the primary coil is connected to 240 volts main supply. Calculate the secondary voltage if the primary coil is connected to 240 main supply all right now here it is one of these are one of the simplest questions under transformers and you use the transformer equation and what is the transformer equation the transformer equation just says that uh number of turns in the primary divided by the voltage in the primary is equal to the number of turns in the secondary divided by the voltage in the secondary so the ratio of the number of turns to the voltage is constant so when you know this uh, you can now calculate what you, you've been asked for and it is secondary voltage which is this guy right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put now the number of turns in the primary which is 500 so I'll say 500 divided by voltage in the primary which is 240 is equal to number of turns in the secondary, which is 20, 25. Yes, it's 25, 25 divided by voltage in the secondary. So I cross multiply these. So I'll have uh, 500 multiplied by voltage in the secondary is equal to 240 multiplied by 25. Then I'll divide through by 500 divide through by 500. So 500 goes. Uh, what I can do here is I cancel this zero with that zero. Then I say 25 into 25 is one, 25 into 50 is two, two into two is one, two into 24 is 12. So 12 times one, which is 12. So the secondary voltage is 12 volts. So the secondary voltage is 12 volts so i can if i wanted i can even say this is 12 volts all right uh -huh. uh, b calculate the efficiency of the transformer if the primary current is 0 0.6 ampere and the secondary current is 8 amperes okay efficiency now what is efficiency Efficiency is all about power, the ratio of the power output to the power input multiplied by 100%. Now, power input and power output. What is power input? Power input is the power of, of the primary core and power output is power of the secondary. So what we have here is we know that power is equal to IV, which is a current times voltage. And we've been told that here in the primary, we have a current of 0 0.6. So we'll have 0 0.6 multiplied by 240. 
so 0 0.6 0 0.6 multiplied by 240 so which is 144 watts 144 watts so this the primary power power in the primary coil is 144 watts so then we go to the secondary again power is equal to current times voltage which is equal to current they said it's 8 multiplied by 12 which is the voltage so 8 by 12 8 8 multiplied by 12 this is 96 96 so here we have 96 watts so 96 power in the secondary and 144 power in the primary so we now come to efficiency efficiency is equal to power output power output over power input okay power output over power input times 100 percent what is the power output we can even say that the power output is the power in the secondary because the secondary core is the one removing power while power input the primary core is the one taking in power so we can uh further on if we wanted we can even say that this is power in the secondary and this is power in the primary so having all that we can now say uh, efficiency is equal to power in the secondary is 96 over power in the primary which is 144 multiplied by 100 percent so 96 divided by 144 so 96 divided by 144 which is 0 0.6666 multiply now that by 100 it gives us 66.6666 so we can uh, leave it to three significant figures, which will be 66.7%. So this will be 66.7%. That is the power, the efficiency of this uh, transformer. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, see you next time.